Hi Libra, welcome to your general love reading for January 2022 um, and Happy New Year by the way and yeah this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Libra and because it's general it's not going to be everybody's situation that is perfectly okay if you want you can check out one of your other signs or if you want to get more specific information you can book a personal reading with me all that information is in the description box all right, Libra, let's see, what is the overall energy for you for the first half of January? We have a devotion. Okay, so there's a connection here, obviously. Um, somebody is feeling very devoted to this. So maybe they were not in the past, maybe they were, maybe this is just becoming more intense. But definitely a feeling of devotion here. So let's see what this is about. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of January 2022. Also keep in mind that for general readings, the roles can be reversed. All right, Libra, let's see. Starting off the reading, we have the Ten of Pentacles crossed by the Five of Wands. All right, so definitely there is a connection here that has this potential to have long-term um, stability, commitment, or there is a commitment, but it feels like there's a lot of conflict here, maybe a lot of arguing or just a lot of, a lot of drama in this particular connection. Let's see, for your recent past, we have death, all right, so that's Scorpio energy showing up here. Currently, we have the Five of Cups, and near future, we have Lovers. Okay, so there was definitely some kind of an ending here, right, that happened in the recent past, um, which, from the looks of it, it has left you feeling very sad, feeling like, like there's grief here, possibly even holding on to the past or thinking a lot about the past. But you do have the lovers um, coming up in the near future. This is also Gemini energy. And I mean, that's love. That's love, basically. So let's see for another person here. We have the Six of Cups for their recent past, the Knight of Cups for their current energy, and the world for their near future. All right, so this person is either thinking a lot about the past or just feeling very, very nostalgic, nostalgic here in the recent past. Definitely feels like this is a very deep connection between you and another person. I feel like that's why we have the devotion here. It's just really representing the deep connection and the devotion that your souls might have towards one another. Um... Like, it could even feel like this is somebody that you have known forever, even if you have just met them, for example. I do see this person being open to love, wanting to come forward here with this Knight of Cups. And I actually see some kind of a successful resolution here. I mean, you having the lovers and then them having the world. The world is not always, it's not exactly an ending, like the way that death can be an ending. It can be, it's a closing out of a cycle, but it's also success. It's a successful, like, reaching a goal, basically. A completion. Let's see the potential outcome. We have, ooh, justice. <clears throat> okay, so Libra. <laughs> Libra energy and also justice. I mean, that's, you know, things working out, things coming into balance, a right decision being made or a favorable decision. It's actually very beautiful. So, all right, let's clarify, because it does appear like there is some conflict though here. So let's see that Ten of Pentacles with the Five of Wands. Do you feel like this one will come out? All right, and we have the Two of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Definitely there's a very, very strong love connection here, but it's almost feeling like... It could be that there's external drama here. I feel because with the Five of Wands and the Seven of Wands, it feels like this is like being up against a lot of external energy that someone needs to fight against. 
which could be preventing a um, this connection from you know reaching that that completion although I do see I do see that happening actually it even feels like there's this kind of like protection like somebody wanting to protect this connection in one way or another but definitely with the five of pentacles though somebody is feeling alone somebody is feeling rejected or abandoned or just like you know they're at a loss like you know why isn't this why isn't this love here why is there this blockage and for some of you it could definitely be that there's a lot of tension between the two of you Alright, let's see that death card for your recent past. And we have temperance. Okay, so whatever this ending was, or if there was some kind of a transformation, or whatever this was, this was something that was actually meant to help you in some way. It's something that has brought about or has initiated a lot of healing from within you. Even if you're, you know, feeling this pain right now and feeling that grief. It's definitely something that was divinely orchestrated. This is also um, Sagittarius energy showing up. Let's see. I don't want to spend too much time on the past. I am curious, actually, about that ending, but I mostly want to see what's going on currently. But let's see the Six of Cups for them. And we have the King of Wands. Okay, yeah, so this is a person who really wanted this. Um, I don't know what happened, why there was some kind of an ending, but... And it could even be for some of you that you ended this, but you ended it from a very balanced place. Like, it may have even taken a lot of maturity or internal um, balance to actually bring about this ending, which means it was not easy. Like, really doing it from a very, very mature perspective. Like, okay, you know what? This is what is going to be for the best, even though I don't want it to end. And even though I know it's going to cause me sadness, this is just what's going to be the best. And so I feel like that's just, you know, you, you knew that this was going to be um, bringing you healing, but you also knew it was going to be very, very difficult. This person just really has that passion for you. They, they had it in the past. They have it now. Um, so I don't know what exactly the issue was here. It does appear, like I said, like for some of you, there's some external, um, conflict from the outside that needs to be resolved. For others of you, it's just this conflict or a lot of defensiveness amongst each other. Let's see that five of cups in your energy, which is the current energy actually. Oh, okay, we have justice showing up again here for you. Judgment, wow. And the page of cups. I also had the knight of cups kind of pop out here as well. So again, I mean, even though you you might be a little bit um, depressed or disappointed in this, it, there's just so much that you are learning from this. There's so much that you are actually healing. And I feel like you're really, really what you're doing is you're learning about your own self. You're learning about your own emotions and your own emotional balance here. There's a lot of um, revelations that may have happened for you because of this ending, because of this connection. Whatever the case, know that you are standing very strong in your power right here, all right? Um, in your, you, this is like your own element, right? With justice. So this decision is being validated to you by spirit right now. That whatever that decision was that you made, it's putting you on the right path. It's something that has that's really benefiting you even if it feels very very difficult at the moment let's see the knight of cups for them oh the three of swords the page of wands and the five of swords 
Yeah, this person still wants this, right? This person is open to love. They want to come in as this Knight of Cups. I actually feel like, though, they're having a little bit of a hard time. There's a lot of pain that they are dealing with. And again, it feels like it might have to do with a, a separate situation other than the two of you. All right, with that Five of Swords, it could be that they're dealing with some kind of manipulative energy. Because I don't feel like they're manipulati manipulating you, okay? Maybe for some of you a little bit, but I don't see that coming with bad intentions. I actually feel like their intentions are really positive. So if you are dealing with somebody who is manipulative, this might not be your reading, all right? Um, <clears throat> definitely this person is carrying a lot of pain here. And there's definitely a, a huge desire for them to come towards you. I do get though that they're they're holding back a little bit at the moment, but I do see some steps being taken. But I feel like it's still at the at the very start because they're still dealing with whatever this Five of Swords energy is. And I feel like this pain actually, the pain that it's, it's, it could be that they're feeling it for you, but also from that other situation, whatever it is that they're having to deal with here. All right, let's see the world. For them coming up. Ooh, okay, the Tower, the Nine of Swords, and the Hanged Man. Okay, definitely, okay, wow, this is huge. Whatever this is, whatever this completion is, it is huge, and it does also feel like there's an ending to this as well. Um, with that Tower, I mean, things are just really blowing up in their life. And whatever that is, it is going to cause a lot of stress. And it's something that they may, they may have been... Um, being very, been very stagnant towards, like not really moving, right? So whatever it is that was keeping them stuck or keeping them hanging, there's a very positive resolution for that. But it's going to require them to make huge changes, like pretty much destroy like everything that they've built or, you know, possibly, you know, ending... Um, significant relationships or you know something big like um, changing careers for example whatever that is it's 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 pretty big and it's going to be pretty stressful for them but there's a successful resolution of that okay let's see the lovers for you Have the Hermit, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> I love how we started the reading with the with the Ten of Pentacles, right? There is this devotion, there is this commitment. I feel like whatever that is, it's coming in. And it's it's like it's coming in with you also having healed your own self here with this hermit. Alright, that's also Virgo um, energy here. There's commitment, there's wish fulfillment, there's deepness. And I do get that for most of you, it's actually going to be with this person that we've been talking about. Because as this person is closing out that cycle, it's like they're also reaching that completion within their own self, right? Whatever it is that they were learning here overcoming this pain, overcoming this drama, whatever that was about. Yeah, it's going to be hard. But I see them really closing that out. All right, let's see justice for the potential outcome. Look at that, the Sun, Leo energy, and the Fool. All right, three major arcana cards here for the potential outcome. I'm telling you, this is huge. There's a lot of devotion here. This is like one of those soul connections where there's definitely 
a soul contract. The two of you are aligning, moving towards that happiness, moving towards justice, taking a leap of faith, starting something new here together. I think this is like the most positive reading I've done so far um, for January. So yeah, Libra, wow. Love, happiness, a new beginning, balance, justice. And all of this, it's coming in like after a very, very difficult um, path here that you've already been on for a while. All right, so let's see. Final message for Libra, if this resonated. All right, and we got two. We have the full moon in Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah, definitely feels that way. It's exactly what I just said, actually. Um, and the second one is the full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. And I do feel like you're both doing that. This person by closing out whatever that drama is or <laughs> I don't know, and then you also coming out of this feeling of loss. So yeah, this is beautiful. Um, I love this reading, Libra. Thank you so, so much for watching. Much love.